Welcome collectors and Diecast Emporium fans. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode. Today we're going to be taking a look at another Diecast Masters Peterbilt Transport Series model specifically. This is item number 71071. That means nothing, of course, to most of you because underneath it is the 150th scale Peterbilt Model 579 in legendary black ultra luft tractor with 53 foot refrigerated van. Okay, before we go any further, this is important. So this model has that chrome reflective finish on the trailer, which looks really, really good on a model. Here's the problem. When you're trying to do a review of the trailer with a camera, with a reflective surface, it kind of, you know, picks up everything. So long story short, you're going to see the camera. You're going to see me. You're going to see the camera stand. Nothing I can do about that. Sorry. Now, for the ladies that are watching, sorry to disappoint you if you catch a glimpse of me. I don't look like John Hamm or Luke Evans or any of the Hollywood greats. Maybe a slightly shorter and younger Dennis Leary with a beer gut. But we're going to look past that and move on. Um, but yeah, that's what happens when you have an awesome looking chrome reflective trailer. It's just going to pick up everything on camera. I can't do anything about that. So we're just going to move on. Just focus on the model. That's what you came here for anyway. So again, transport series models come in the brown outer shipping box, which of course protects and houses the main model box, which is this right here. Now, the Peterbilt models, as with all of the Transport Series models, kind of come with their own color-coordinated system. And because Peterbilt's colors are red and white predominantly, the Transport Series background for the Peterbilt models is Peterbilt red. See the correlation there? I know, it turns out works well. So there is the model, as you can see, Beautiful rendering of it. On the left-hand side, you have the Peterbilt Oval 1-50 to scale. And uh, over here, again, the description of the model. Once again, the item number, if you need it, 71071. And on the back, we'll start with the quick overview. Because by the time you see this video, all of these, all of these other models in the Peterbilt Transport Series by Diecast Masters range has been reviewed on this channel. So, if you want to take a look at, for example, the Model 579 Day Cab Tractor in Legendary Red, or perhaps the Striking Blue Model 567 Dump Truck, or perhaps the Peterbilt Model 567 with McNeilis Bridgemaster Mixer, just search them out on my channel. In fact, I'll have a suggested link at the top of the screen right now, and uh, you guys can check out those videos. Okay, back over here with the important stuff. Again, here's your description. It has pictures of some of the working features on the model. But strangely enough, it doesn't show what's probably the most appealing aspect and interesting working feature on the truck, which we will get into in just a moment. But some specification details about the real truck. Packard MH13 engine, 12.9 liters, anywhere from 405 to 510 horsepower, depending on configuration. And you can read the rest of the stats if you'd like. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing out of the box. So, real quickly, 2020. Diecast Masters 150th scale transport series catalog is included, and this has everything that's in their transport series line. Very, very helpful if you're trying to build and maintain your collection. You've got the entire lineup here. Picture catalog, color picture catalog, so you can keep everything squared away. Make sure you always hang on to one of those. All right, so on the top layer, we have, and here's where I said at the beginning of the video, you're just going to have to ignore the fact that it's an reflective trailer and it's going to pick up the camera. There you go. So there's the chrome trailer and here is our legendary black 150th scale model 579 Ultraluff tractor. So at this point we'll take a quick break to allow me to get the packaging and stuff off the review area. When we come back we will start our review of the models. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. How entertaining were those commercials? All right, so we're back. Let's start out first with the 53-foot reefer van or refrigerated van. As I mentioned, probably the coolest aspect about this trailer, other than it's got this great Peterbilt graphic on the side of it, is that it is chrome reflective. That's very good, but it has one major drawback. You got to make sure you have like a, well, kind of like a rag you would have if you have an HD television, for example, because... You can get fingerprints on it really, really easy. But again, those are quickly wiped away with one of those, you know, nice rags that you will. You can quickly go over it and get rid of uh, the smudges, if you will. 
but it's got the DOT striping and lighting all around the side of it, and those are done in some nice pad pr printed graphics, which look good. Over here in this triangle, very hard to see, but it reads super heavy. In the square down here, it says caution 96 high container. On the back, you have, again, I apologize about the phone. You have two opening doors, 53 foot indicator here. Again, some load indication decals, your DOT striping, your lights, and your uh, bumper protection for rear impacts. Now, I mentioned the doors do open, and what's so cool about this is that, let's say you have one of the Diecast Masters 1 to 50 scale cat skid steers lying around. You can pose them with the pallet forks attached, like I do, and you can have him loading and unloading some cargo out of the back of the truck if you want to do that. So, really simple, quick, easy setup to do. And again, if you have some, you know, 150 scale 3D printed pallets um, with some different shipment material or something with some different boxes, again, you can do that. Looks pretty good. So the other side, again, has the same thing for the most part as the side that we took a look at. I personally like these extensions, these aerodynamic extensions on these trailers. You see those a lot on these type of trailers around me. On the front, here's your reefer or refrigeration unit. You have landing legs here. If you want to deploy the trailer by itself, you can fold those down. And you can have the trailer all by itself if you want to. Lastly, we'll take a look underneath. There's your rubber tires with chrome wheels. And once again, a good look at the overall frame. Okay, let's move on to our tractor. Take a look at this paint. I hope that this comes through well on this camera. You can, If I can direct your attention to the hood, you can see all the specks in the paint that really make this truck come alive. All right, so our fifth wheel. As you may know, on all the Diecast Masters Transport Series trucks, they are designed to slide forward and backward. So we'll move him backward in this case, so he's all the way back, so I can show you how that works. Your doors do open. Driver. And passenger side doors. And your hood opens as well. And there you can see a Packard motor inside, which has some individual painted and detailed components. So if that's not enough... This truck has a really good range of steering in both directions, so you can pose the truck steering left or to the right. Underneath, there's your chassis component detail. Once again, a little bit difficult to see when it's black on black, but there is a fair amount of effort that went into replicating as much of the components as they possibly could while maintaining a good price point. I have to say they did a, overall a very good job. Now. As we were looking at the box, I mentioned they left out one crucial detail in the pictures depicting some of the details of this truck. Now you may already know what this is, but check this out. You can take the top part of the cab and the sleeper off, and that gives you a really good view inside. You can see the sleeper bunk, all the details on the seat, the Peterbilt logo on the steering wheel, the detailed dash, and again, you really can't get a good appreciation for all the effort that's actually detailed on the interior of these trucks until you own one, but I can assure you that it's quite a lot, and it looks really, really good. But I love the fact that you can take the top of the cab off. So, there you go. Let's attach both of them with the truck with the trailer as they are designed to go together. Make sure we have our fifth wheel back enough. There we go. And you have the two fully conjoined to form the 18-wheeler. So this truck, again, is going to retail for about $144, I believe is the MSRP. But I have seen some retailers, again, uh, selling these at the time of the review for about $130 US. Pretty good value. Obviously, I think the main 
appealing aspect is the the black tractor, the, the 579. I think there's a lot of collectors of black trucks in 1 to 50 scale that are going to jump on this opportunity. It's going to make a wonderful addition to your fleet. Again, I do have to say that these trucks are going to be available very, very, very soon. So make sure you jump on it and you don't wait any longer. But as always, you guys are the judge. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comment section below. Until next time, I'm Tommy with Diecast Emporium. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next review.